It's really a puzzling one. We don't really know if Menendez built a fort in the Spanish tradition with a moat and bastions and so on. They were only here for nine months and they didn't use Indians for labor. It was just the soldiers who were here. Um, but we, it is known from documents that this was called the town and the fort, the, the uh, Fuerte de San Agustin. And so we have not archeologically found any definite evidence of a traditional fort, but we have found a wall that ran across the north side of the settlement. And we assume it's a defensive wall. That wall was behind in front of you? That's right, yes. How long is that wall? The wall is uh, about 220 feet long. Wow. And it stretched from the marsh to the creek, the estuary. So it, uh, three sides of the settlement at that time were, were water or marshland. And so the north side was the only one that had uh, firm ground for enemies to come in. And so that I we see. think is why the wall was there. Yeah, I mean, that kind of wall, that big, uh, the, 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 it's too large to be a house or to be a yes. storage. I mean, you it, are very close to, you know, to be confident that's... We, be, uh, are, we are confident that that wall was related to the protection of the settlement because we've worked on both sides of the wall and on the north side, there is no Spanish material, no evidence for Spanish buildings. Uh, it's all Native American, but on the south side of the wall, we have found a lot of Spanish houses built in a traditional manner trash deposits, um, barrel wells, and so we feel that that wall it was the dividing line between the settlement, the Fuerte of San Agustin, and the outside. And they're talking about all 